YouTube, welcome to Cooking Conversations. We are at Dunkin' this morning and it's getting chilly in Southern California. So I'm having something hot this morning and they have two new items on their um, holiday menu. I think one is new and one is bringing back, but nonetheless, I'm gonna try it and try both of them and see which one I like the best. And I'm gonna get them both hot. So one of them is the peppermint mocha latte, which sounds really, really, really good. I wish the mocha hot chocolate was done, done like the peppermint, but the peppermint has signature coffee with the cooling peppermint flavor, whipped cream topped with mocha drizzle and cocoa powder. Now that's like a supreme latte. So I'm gonna try that one and see which one I like the best. And the other one, sounds like a more traditional hot chocolate. So it's creamy milk chocolate with notes of white chocolate and it's more of the traditional kind. I wish that the white mocha hot chocolate had the whipped cream and the cocoa powder and all that stuff. But I'm gonna try both of them and let you guys know which one is my favorite, okay? So go with me. I'm gonna go in order, get my drink and I'll see you when I get back. Good morning. I'd like to try the peppermint mocha latte. Okay. And would you like the signature with whipped cream on top? Yes, please. Okay. And I would also like to try the white hot chocolate, the white mocha hot chocolate. Okay. And for the peppermint mocha, did you want that hot or iced? Hot. Okay. And what size would you like that? I like the small. Okay. And for the hot white, the the white hot chocolate, I want a small one too. Is that the white mocha one? Yeah, that's it. And did you want more cream on that one? Oh, yes, please. Okay. I'm all set. Okay. It'll be 683 at the window. Thank you. All right, you guys. So if you get the white mocha hot chocolate, you can get whipped cream. So that's a plus. I'm happy about that. All right. I'll see you when I get my drink and we'll talk about it. All right, my friends. We got our drinks. This one is this peppermint mocha. And my first thought is, I don't smell the peppermint. I don't smell any of the coffee or any of that. So I'm gonna take the top off. Okay, the whipped cream is there. I can't show you or it'll tip over, but let me see. Try to move the camera. When I start moving the camera, it just goes bad. But let's see, can y'all see it? All right, so that's the little chocolate in there with the whipped cream. And this is the peppermint mocha, but you can't smell it. So I'm wondering, okay, is this gonna have some flavor in here? Oh, Duncan. <laughs> I'm trying to get my little stirrer. Okay, so this is like a mini stirrer, so I don't know how I'm gonna stir it on the bottom. Oh no, this is going downhill. <laughs> okay, little mini stir. Let's see, peppermint mocha. It is good <laughs> with that whipped cream and that chocolate. Let's see. The coffee is coming through real strong. Okay. I haven't got any hint or any taste of peppermint. Okay. On that sip, I did get a little bit more flavor of the peppermint, but the coffee is strong, strong. So I don't know that you really get the latte flavor on it. This one I believe was $3.49. So this is a bit strong for my liking. I wonder, I think Starbucks have a peppermint mocha or something. I'm gonna try theirs and see. But this one I don't know about. No. The coffee is too strong for my liking. So for that reason, it's a, supposed to be a latte, which is more milky and creamier. And the peppermint doesn't come through as bold as I would like it. So for that reason, six. Yeah, I'd probably pass on that one. All right, this is the more traditional hot chocolate, but it has white chocolate in it too, okay? So white chocolate with the hot chocolate. Let's go. Ooh. Now this looks really good. Let me see, I'm gonna bend the camera down just a little bit. 
So this looks like the traditional. See the whipped cream on top? The only thing that I noticed right off the top is it don't have any chocolate drizzle. This one had chocolate drizzle. If they had have had chocolate drizzle on this, that would have been a plus. That would have been a bonus point. But such is life. Let's give it a try. This is the white. <laughs> this is the, how are you gonna stir to the bottom with just a half of stirrer? Whatever, maybe I'm just grumpy this morning because it's cold. All right, here we go. Hot mocha, no, white chocolate. White hot mocha hot chocolate, I think. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. Hands down. The mocha, what is this called? Yes, white mocha hot chocolate. Hands down. First bite, um, first drink, first sip, creamy, white chocolate, milk chocolate. It tastes like a traditional hot chocolate, but they kicked it up a notch with the creamy chocolate flavor. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's sweet. Mmm. It's creamy. It tastes like a premium hot chocolate. It does. This is a good one. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a nine because remember when we first looked at it and it had the whipped cream on top, but it didn't have no chocolate drizzle. If they had to put a little bit of chocolate drizzle, boy, they would have got a 10. So I won't be drinking this one. This one was $3.49. I'll pass on that one. That one got a six. This one got a nine and it's only $2.79 with the whipped cream. So it's even a better deal. Go out and try the white hot mocha chocolate. It's a traditional um, creamy chocolate, chocolate, hot chocolate. Okay. Delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. I'll see you in my next video. All right. Thank you.